what's going on guys and welcome back today we are starting season two episode one and two of sons of anarchy man we are here once again to see the greatness that it is this show i'm very much enjoying this show um and today somebody recommended that i watch episodes ones and two together so we're gonna be doing that okay whether i watch this at the same time that's yet to be said i might watch it at the same time it's kind of late right now so i don't know if i'll be able to do both episodes but i will definitely release both at the same time get what i'm saying so even if i have to do this one tonight and do the other in the morning i will do that but in any case let's see how things go um so i'm enjoying this series so i have to say that off bad man so that you guys know that you know, I'm not going to abandon this series. Um, I'm going to be picking back up with The Walking Dead very soon. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm going to be abandoning this series to go watch The Walking Dead. Um, I'll slowly bring The Walking Dead back into the fold. Um, so you don't have to worry about anything. I'll still be doing double uploads of Sons of Anarchy when I feel like it. So don't worry about it. Okay, so let's jump into these reactions. Let's see what they have to do. We left off... Um, with Jack's kind of, you know, trying to figure things out. Is he going to go against Clay? Is he going to play his cards right so he can get into that presidential position? You know what I'm saying? Move up from vice president to president. I'm wondering if something is going to happen to Clay in this season, but we'll see how things go down. You know, now he kind of realizes that Jax doesn't really, he's not with that smoke. You know what I'm saying? And then one of the first nine, which is um Opie's dad, um, he's not with it either because I didn't know that um, John Teller, which is Jack's dad, sent him a copy of his renewal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like, if we keep going down this criminal ways, you know what I mean? We just going to be criminals for the rest of our lives. And it's kind of like it reminds me of um, the situation. And, you know, I I tend to to. Um, to compare this to a lot of other shows but that's what i have to do right um so this reminds me of a the situation that was going on in power um though this is more of like a family kind of dynamic um show um with power you know it, it's the same kind of dynamic as in you know somebody's in something that they want to get out of which is was the ghost character and you know it's kind of like you have somebody that's there telling you like like Gemma would be um can't even remember Natasha, right? Gemma would be Tasha, the one that's in your ear telling you, you can't lead the game. You can't lead the game. You know what I'm saying? This is how we got rich. Why would you want to go straight? You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like that situation where Gemma is in Clay's ear telling him you need to get Jackson line because he ain't with he ain't with that. Even if he's with it for now, he probably not going to be with it for very long but anyways let's go watch these episodes and i will see you guys for the review all right so season two is officially on the way episodes one and two and i am actually so happy to be able to be able to to watch this show man because it's a and there's a lot of series i'm hopeful that it doesn't go downhill but you know i'm going into it with a certain amount of expectancy i mean there's what seven seasons of this show so hopefully it doesn't go downhill um you know of course if it does i'm gonna point it out um but overall Right now, I am very much so enjoying the show um, with no issues. I don't have any issues. There's no, you know, qualms that I have with the show right now. I think they're doing an excellent job of telling the story that they're trying to tell as far as I am following right now. So, um, just to talk a little bit about the stuff that's going on in the show that I really do appreciate is, you know... You know, people always talk about black on black crime, <laughs> you know, 
and white on white crime and all of this other stuff. And I'm glad that there's a little bit of that going on in this series and it's being addressed. You get what I'm saying? It's showing you how and, and it's not so far fetched to think that these things are happening in real life. You get what I'm saying? So I like that factor. Um, you know, as you can see, it doesn't bother me. I don't cringe at racial slurs in this show. Um, I don't cringe at it because I hear it all the time. You get what I'm saying? I hear it all the time. Um, it's a different reaction from me when it's directed towards me, but when I hear it in TV shows, it doesn't bother me as, as, as much. You get what I'm saying? Like it just doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. So I like to see that they're staying authentic. You get what I'm saying? Like, we know that this is what the Aryan Brotherhood does. We know. So to hear them use that kind of language is not far fetched. We know this. We know, you know, the swastika, what it means. We know these things. So um, I don't know. YouTube might demonetize my video for saying those words in these videos. I don't know why but they might, but I'll let you guys know if it happens. But in any case, you know, I just appreciate that factor, you know, first and foremost, I'm, you know, I appreciate that, that they're staying to the authenticity of the individual groups and stuff like that. Like it's not no fake shit, you know, it doesn't feel fake. It feels real, you know? So when it comes on to just the story in itself is a brilliant way to start to see start the second season. Um, you know, I don't like what happened to Gemma, but at the same time, for the narrative, it works. You know what I'm saying? It made me it made me angry. I tried to keep my anger down because I don't like to necessarily see that stuff in, in TV shows, even though I know it's a part of real life. Women get sexually assaulted every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, even the ones that are not reported, it happens. You know what I mean? Um, and the thing about it is that the reason why I don't like or I disagree with the Me Too movement that's been going on is because it's been tainted by all the false reporting that has caused even me to be reactionary towards those false allegations, as in being careful, not having... Um, not having business meeting with women by themselves. I always got a, um, one of my business partners with me if I'm going to meet with a woman for business, um, stuff like that. I mean, I, I, I just do that now. I never, I, I didn't used to do it. Maybe I want to say like three or four years ago, but I want to say for the past like two or three years, I've been doing that because never saw it as an issue issue because I never thought that people would you know you can't put anything beyond people but people nowadays it's been ramped up to a thousand of false accusations against dudes you know what I'm saying you can't flirt with women anymore you can't do these things so you, you just kind of fall into that category as predatorial towards women and all this other stuff when I know for a fact I'm not you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm one of the shyest dudes you will ever meet. I was never a womanizer ever. You get what I'm saying? I was never that type of dude. Like, as a matter of fact, I didn't really, I'm not a player like that. Like, I don't approach women, like, just out of the blue like that. I was never that guy. You know what I'm saying? I was always the guy that was like, you know what I'm saying? A little shy, a little on the shy and don't want to really approach women. But if I really see a woman that I really like, I would approach them. You get what I'm saying? Like I was very picky with the women that I approach. So, you know, I wasn't like, oh, she's pretty, you know, let me see if I can. I, I didn't sleep around. I, you know what I'm saying? Like I never did that. Now I'm off the market. So again, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just saying, man, the direction that they're telling um Gemma is still protecting her family man and that's Clay and Jax is going to have a fit when they find out about this and I know they're going to find out at some point and I'm you know what I'm saying it's going to be all our war maybe you know what I'm saying all I know is that we you know a lot of white dudes are going to die in this show 
You know what I'm saying? When they find out, because it's not going to be pretty. At least that's my expectation. Tara and Gemma getting closer. I like that. I like that. Very much so. The turnaround from season one to season two at the beginning, at least for now. You know, hopefully their relationship bloom into something even better because I think Tara has come to the understanding of, listen, I'm in league with a bunch of criminals. Let's just get that out the way. I can't avoid that. I'm in love with this dude. So whatever comes with it, I'm going to have to accept it. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, she she doesn't have to. She could have left. I didn't want her to leave personally because I like her character. Um, I'm glad she stayed. You know, hopefully that nothing happens to her. And, and you know what I'm saying? Because it's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this show is... We haven't lost any major characters yet. You know, I wouldn't say Donna was a major character. I would more consider her just a piece of the puzzle, you know, or the unraveling of everything. Um, the start of the unraveling of stuff to come. You get what I'm saying? And the distrust in the club to create that distrust in the club, to create that tension in the club. You know, her character had to, had to die. And I get it. Opie, I'm so worried about this dude because he is... Not in his right mind. This dude just walked out in a hail of bullets. Think he think he Jesus. Opie thinks he's Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? He didn't get shot, surprisingly. Man, those guys' aim is bad, ain't it? Wow. But anyways, guys, um, that is all I have to say about this. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me through this series. Um, season 2 has begun. Let's get it. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Um... And I will see you guys next time. Terabyte Reacts out. Peace. It's late at night. That's why I'm trying to not talk too loud.